Welcome to our topic, Introduction to Rule and Governance. The objective of the topic is defining concept rule, identifying the various clarification of rule, defining the concept morality, understanding similarities and differences between rule and morality, definition of rule, rule is defined as a body of principal rules and regulations that govern a state or organization, classification of rules, Rules can be classified in the following classes, written and written rules. Written rules are classified as rules that have been reduced to writing, confined in one form of document, also referred to as codified rules. An example of written rules is the United States Constitution, Act of Parliament, Contract, Will and Trust, which are all based on codified rules. Unwritten rules are classified as rules which are not contained or reduced in any form of document, for instance, the Islamic Sharia rule, the British Constitution. All of them are un unqualified in nature. The second classification is the national and international rules. National rules are rules that are applicable within a particular state. They regulate relation between citizen versus citizen, citizen versus states. The law originates from parliament statutes, religious practices in that state or nationality, also referred to as intrastate rule. These rules are, are limited to particular states but cannot be applied to other states. International rules are rules and regulations that govern relations between states. For instance, the United Nations rules, World Trade Organization rules. These are rules which can be applied among various states. They are not limited to just a certain state because the organizations are formed when some states come together and both together and share the, both the royalty together sharing the royalty together and form an organization. So those rules can be applied in various states. For instance, the, the United Nations Human Rights Charter can be applied in various states and be used to charge any state if it violates the, the statutes in the United Nations Human Rights Charter. We also have private and public rules. Private rules are rules that govern relation between individuals following a civil rule legal system such as thoughts and legal obligation. So private rule is based on relation between individual and individual. Public rule are rules and regulations that govern relation between legal person and the state, between state institution, also between branches of government. A proper example of this is the constitution rules. The fourth classification is substantive and procedural rule. So substantive rule are rules that offer actual remedy regarding civil and criminal case and other, and other field. For instance, a state can say thou shalt not steal. So this is a substantive kind of rule because if you do in contradiction with what the substantive rule, rule says, it is against the rules and regulation. We also have other procedure. We have also have procedural rule, a rules that governs and determine the manner in which the court proceedings are required to be conducted in case of civil and criminal case. This is because there is a difference between criminal and a criminal and civil case, and the level which they are taken into consideration in a court of law. If a, there is any procedural omission in case of civil or criminal case, it, it amounts to the outcome of the case being determined narrow and void. We also have criminal and civil rule. Criminal rules are rules that deal with the omission and commission which is prohibited by rule and unacceptable by the society. E.g. murder, stealing, assault, pollution is a good example of the crime of the of the cases which criminal rule deals with 
is a pre his primary objective is to protect society from unruly citizen who's who's violated the constitution so criminal laws are majorly based on the wrong which individual commit against the state for instance killing a person is against the state so that one is a criminal case robbery with violence which is a stealing is a wrong which individual commit against this so it is dealt with by criminal law civil law are defined as rules and regulations that govern the relationship of individual among us themselves for instance tort of liability civil rules had be it can simply be defined as wrong against individual themselves so they are not offending the state but they are offending each other so this one can be dealt with at individual level so a certain individual can be compelled to pay a total of liability to another individual who, who he has committed tort against to. We can now try to understand some differences between civil and criminal case. Civil case, it is a private wrong against individual where a criminal case, it is a public wrong against the state. Civil case, the parties involved are plain fool who is who is the aggrieved and the defendant who is the wrongdoer. Where in criminal case, the party involved are the prosecution prosecution representing the state or the accused is the offender. In civil case, Cases can be drawn with the concept of the parties involved. In criminal case, cases cannot be withdrawn without the concept of the prosecution and the court. In case of a civil case, the principal need to prove their case on balance of probability, where in criminal case, The prosecution must prove against the accused beyond measurable doubt. In civil case, the remedy of civil wrong is in form of monetary compensation. In case of a criminal wrong, the remedy is usually in form of imprisonment, fine, death, death sentence, in case of any capital offense, burden of prove rise with the plaintiff or aggrieved in the civil case whereas in the criminal case burden of proof rise with the prosecution arm let us now get to another subtopic by the name morality morality can be sim simply referred to ethical code of conduct for human being for instance telling the truth keeping promise is ethical Violation of such mor mor morality rules may bring disturbance to individual concerns and social sanction. For instance, when somebody in traditional African society, more so the African traditional society, identified that he have committed murder, he ran away from the society since since he already knew in his or her mind he'll be expelled out of the society also impregnating young girls it amounted to social sanction in african tradition society for instance in case of morality the agikuyu could take uh, i hear them saying they could take you to mount kenya they Put you in the top of the mountain and they allow you to to fall down the mountain roaring roaring up up to the surface of the mountain so morality was an essential essential element in african traditional society and in influencing the human conduct we have some key differences between law and morality so the morality was not about our topic but it is good to understand morality because you cannot understand law without gauging morality since 
Mo morality is infiltrated in the fabric of rules. So you cannot ignore morality and abide to rules. So they are conjoined together. So let us now find the difference between rule and morality. So rule can be see, simply be defined. Rule is defined by rule is rule is defined by rule and created for community. Where morality morality rule are defined by moral moral judgment defined from one community to another. So rule is created for all, all the community in general, but morals are defined by moral judgment defined from one community to another. So morals are based on dif different communities have different moral values. So rule of law may be enforced by may be enforced by law, where morality are not enforced by law but depend on one's conscience. So law can be enforced by law. It can be enforced even in court since it is enforced in court, but morality is based on someone's conscience. It comes from the heart. It is instilled on individual. So you cannot compare somebody in court for not following some more, some more conduct if they are not violating the public policy. Law is always definite, precise, and mostly in writing, where morality are most very indefinite and most not in writing. For instance, the dowry procedures, they are so very complex and you cannot understand them in history. Or rules is somehow definite, precise and most in writing. For instance, there is a constitution, sometimes it's easy to understand it. Rule focus more on society and lay down rules concerning relation between individual versus the state, individual versus individual. So rules lay down rules concerning the relationship. Well, morality focus on individual laying down rules that moves one character. So morality is based on building one character, building character. But this one is based on ensuring that society runs smoothly. Whereas rules are followed by convenience, ensuring smooth running of society. But morals, they are followed in themselves because they are good. So, rules are followed, ensuring that the society runs smoothly, since people are guided by rules. And any, any violation of the rule may call for a legal sanction of being taken to court. But in morality, they are just followed because they are good. So, for instance, paying dowry is for because it's good. It's what people found it. I'm not against this, but it's for because it's good. But you cannot take somebody to court for because he has not paid dowry. No, it cannot work like that. So, law is applied uniformly to all persons in the society. Well, most are, are applied in consideration of a certain individual in the society. So, rules. Rules are applied uniformly to every person, either old or small, but morality varies with age. It seems to benefit some people more than others. So, young people, morals requires young people to do something, but it can be ex in exemption of other old people or other aged people. So, age factor operating in morals, or in rules, sometimes. Rules apply uniformly to all people, be it or, or gender, be it males or female. But morals can be some moral values uh, t gender question is gender question operates in moral values where some males are required to do something which male cannot do. There are something which Female can do, males cannot do, male can do, female cannot do. So, morals are not applied uniformly. Similarities between rule and morality. Both of them have common origin. Both morals and law originate from a common source. For instance, killing an individual is against law and morality rule. Conformation structure of both rules does not enforce itself. 
but every rags behind the standards where there is no morality. So where there is no morality, there is no rules. For instance, instead of in, for instance, if there is a coup and people do not have morality, you guess many things which are in contradiction with the rules. Moral are at the head of law, so law is to secure justice, and justice in, in, in its own sense is largely based on moral values. So, moral, so law conform to morality. Law must conform to morality. So, law is to secure justice, and justice in own sense is based on moral, moral values. Infiltration. Both morals and rules mold each other. Therefore, morals are infiltrated in, infiltrated in the fabric of the rule. Since Parliament cannot make rules that contradict moral values. For instance, Parliament in Kenya or African countries cannot make rules that contradict what they believe on. For instance, abortion has been questioned in African in African countries. African countries do not. I can add. add, add they cannot accept abortion to be a rule in to be legal in their country because they view that they view abortion as a crime so parliament cannot make a statute allowing abortion to be legal in those states since it is against the moral value of those states another is obedience obedience not only legal sanctions that ensure compliance with the law, but also morality in its popular sense. For instance, obeying traffic rules. It is not a must there be a police officer or any person enforcing the observance of traffic rules that someone, in order for a driver to follow, you must, they are guided by morality, morality and moral values, but not only the rules. So, that marks the end of our topic. So thank you for watching. Hope you subscribe to my channel. Hope I have helped someone to understand the introduction through briefly. Thank you.